Um, we don't typically have any leftover. Like we'll sometimes have leftover raw ingredients, and those all go to a, a food bank or a homeless shelter. We've got we've got deals with both. But the well, don't think it's just sinful. I don't think it's right. So um, we we don't make bad food. But the stuff that gets cooked, the crew eats. You know, because there's not that much of it. You know, you sir. What was the, what were the inspirations for the technical stylings of Good Eats? I came out of making uh, directed TV commercials, so a lot of it just came naturally out of the fact that I, I worked in a very um, visual medium to begin with, and, and knew that if I was going to make a show that people would watch, who were used to watching, you know, that kind of television, that I would have to employ those, those kinds of methods. So the, the visual style just grew out of what I was had already been doing for 10 years, and then hopefully grew over the next. Um, Alright, we got time for like three more. How about the lady in the back? Here we go. In Benjamin, how much of it is art versus chemistry? Art versus chemistry. <laughs> how much of it? How much of baking is art versus chemistry? Well, that's kind of like saying um, when when creating a great painting, is it art or brushes? Science is a tool. You cannot ignore science and bake, but through science you can apply artistry. You can use science in a very artistic way. Uh, but you can't use being an artist to get around the science. It's still science, and everything in making is science. And when you ignore that, you're just you're just an artist. <laughs> Put the hat in the back. I never showed you how to make caramel what? Caramel cake. Caramel cake. I never got around to caramel cake. I know. You wanted to know how to make caramel cake? I can't eat the icing. Well, all right, I'll do something to make caramel cake then. I'll, I'll, I'll find some way to satisfy your, because caramel cake's my favorite cake. Mm. Um, it just never, it just never worked itself into a show. I've got some awesome caramel cake. <laughs> I've got some caramel cake that'll make you not ever want to have another piece of caramel cake. You can't have that one. Who's going to be, who's going to be, who's going to be, uh, you now have a black shirt right there, I guess. Two more questions. Why did you answer the gentleman's question about what your favorite donut is, now that we know your favorite Oh, I can't, I can't remember which, the actual, I only ate there once, it was four years ago, so um, all I know is I ate all of them. <laughs> uh, they were, I like simple donuts. I like very simple, like raised cake donuts or buttermilk donuts, things like that. I don't like real fancy donuts. And I'm not real partial to cream filled up. Because that's more like pie. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with pie. How did I get into food from commercials? Because when I was directing commercials, I didn't like what I was doing most of the time. Because it would be like, everybody was like, oh, we're making a tire commercial. And you got the entire advertising agency acting like these tires are the most important freaking thing on planet Earth. You got like 75 people that are all the tires. I'm like, they're tires, you put them on a car and you go. <laughs> Your diapers, your baby poops them, okay? I, mean, I don't understand everything. It's like, oh, it's like, you know, everything's so important. And I was, so for relief, I cooked and I watched food shows. Only I thought most of the food shows weren't very entertaining. You know, and it was like, I'd watch a half hour food show and be like, ooh, I got another recipe. But I, I don't know anything more than I do. And it wasn't very entertaining. So I thought, gosh darn it, I bet I can make one. And so I quit my job, I went to culinary school, and got very lucky. <laughs>